Baking with Mama and Fractions by Evelyn Lopez. One morning, Elena woke up very hungry. She ran downstairs and found her mom starting breakfast. Mama, I'm so hungry I could eat two banana breads. They're my favorite. Elena had been dreaming about all the food that she could eat. What? Elena's mom responded. Elena, do you know how much that would take? No, Elena said, but I know that I could eat two banana breads. I'm very hungry, Elena responded. Okay, that's a good idea, Elena's mom said. Go wash up and we'll make it together. So Elena rushed back and got ready and she was back in the kitchen before Mama could get all the ingredients out. Okay, Elena, here's a measuring cup. Um, Elena was confused. She had seen Mama make banana bread before, and all she did was throw ingredients into a bowl, pop it in the oven, and that would come a banana bread. Why was she giving her a cup with numbers? Okay. She didn't want Mom to know that she was confused. I'm ready. Okay, Elena. Now, to figure out how many eggs we have, I want you to fill it up to the one-fourth line. All right, Elena said nervously. She began cracking eggs with her mom. Oh no, she dropped one. Elena was way too nervous trying to figure out what one fourth meant and she missed out on an egg. It's okay, Elena, I'll help you, mom reassured her. That's enough. Um, okay. Do you see how it only took us three eggs to make it to the one fourth line? Oh yeah. Elena's eyes were starting to light up. She was understanding what this meant. So instead of saying three eggs, you would tell me one-fourth? Nice job, Elena. That's a fraction. Yes, instead of saying three eggs, I would tell you one-fourth. Because if I told you four-fourths, do you know how many eggs that would take? Elena was confused again. No, Mama. I barely understand what you said. Okay, sorry, Elena's mom said laughing. What I mean is, these fractions show us the measurements of something that we need. You didn't know that this was three eggs, but we know that this is how much we need for banana breads. And four-fourths would equal the whole cup, but we don't need that many eggs. No, I don't think so, Mama, Elena interrupted. I don't think that would taste very good. Elena's mom laughed. Yeah, probably not. But what I mean by these fractions is that it helps us understand how much of an entire thing we need. And we use a lot of fractions with cooking. Okay, I'm ready to keep going, Elena said. Next, Elena's mom told Elena that she needed one half of flour to mix into the bowl. Elena was getting the hang of this. After mixing in the flour with the eggs, they added their bananas. Elena, mom said, you need to figure out how many bananas we need to equal one half of a cup. Okay, I think I got this. Elena was confident and she wanted that banana bread more than anything this morning. She had thought about it all night and she was not going to let any numbers get in the way of this. Elena squished in three bananas and made it to the one half line. I got this, she said. Elena's mom looked proud. They continued mixing the ingredients in, and before they knew it, it was time to put the dough into the pan. Now, Elena, can you get my timer? Of course. Elena ran across the kitchen and grabbed the timer. Now, Elena, here's the real test, her mom said. We need to put one half of an hour on that timer. Oh, man, Elena's brain cells were working hard, and her eyes were trying to figure out exactly what this meant. She looked at the measuring cup, she looked at her ingredients, and she thought about what she had done to make this banana bread. Well, one hour equals 60 minutes, so I need half of that. 30 minutes, Mama? Yes, Elena, good job. Mom and Elena put the bread into the oven, and after 30 minutes, or one half, 
of an hour, they were able to enjoy the amazing banana bread that Elena had dreamed of overnight. Hmm, maybe numbers aren't so bad. I think that I can definitely eat one half of this banana bread, Mama, and I'm saving the other half for later, Elena said. Mom looked proud, and she was even prouder to see that little Elena had learned some math and was able to enjoy her favorite snack. The end.